Yeah. From the BART train to a tour bus. Still the same game, except I pull in more sluts, more butts, more bucks, never giving more. F hey, what's up, guys? It's X Crash here, and today I'm gonna bring you a fast tutorial on how to increase your FPS drastically on CSGO. Just letting you know, um, you know that I'm recording with Fraps, and you know that Fraps has limited amount of FPS it can record at. So I'll stu I'll be st stuck to 60 FPS. Af so now and before the change and after the change FPS change. But don't worry, I'll take a picture with my phone to show you that the FPS have actually increased. But it actually works. Just letting you know also that all all laptops, all PC gamers, torrents or whatever are you using, they don't have this capability. Like maybe if you're obviously if you have 120 FPS, why do you want more? Okay, if you have 300, you you're not gonna get more, cause cause not, cause you don't need more. But anyway, let's just hop in. I'm gonna play offline with bots. Just um, I'm gonna put here the console uh, so that you can see. There we go. How many FPS? We're gonna play uh, offline game with bots. Does do well without bots. And we're just gonna hop in, and um, once loaded, we'll come back. See you now. All right, guys, so we're back. As we can see, um, I don't know why that's bugged. Lol. Uh, anyway, as you guys can see right now, I have 50 FPS, as you know, for apps, it just limits your uh, recording, well, it limits your FPS, but I took a picture before um, starting, as you can see, I have 95 FPS normally, but sometimes it even gets up to 120, so I have no problem, I'm just doing a tutorial for you, uh, for people that have, like, maybe, they can, they really can take more potential out of their laptop or PC, they don't know so this is like this will actually work for everybody because you know the laptops are different uh, maybe your maybe 30 fps is the max you're gonna get you don't know but it depends on your laptop i'm telling you now that this won't 100 percent work on each laptop or pc i'm talking laptop every time because i'm using right now and it's a pretty good laptop but um, anyway guys, as you can see there, 50 FPS, as you see in the picture, as, as you saw in the picture, before, um, it's 120, well, 100, not 120, but 99 FPS, which is more than enough. So we're gonna hop into the configuration, I'm gonna show you how we do this, alright? See you now guys in my desktop. Okay guys, so we are in my desktop right now and um, what you basically gonna change, you, well you, all you're gonna do is get this line of code I'll put on the description. You're gonna go to come to Steam, sorry I was about to say contract, sorry. You go to properties, you set launch options, I already have it, I, actually this has to be, I'll change this again, it has to be two. But, here as you can see I put I have threads for how do you know how many threads you have okay threads are the um, half of the uh, processors you have so basically you're gonna go to um, here here uh, and there and as you can see I have four so basically you divide that by two Oh, wait, sorry, I'm sorry, no, I have four, true, I have four, there's, there's some of them that display eight, if you have eight squares, you have four. Stop, basically what I said is that if your laptop or computer is a dual core, you put two, and if it's a quad core, you put four, it's as simple as that, there's not much. Just, just letting you know, basically you get your number and you divide it by two, and that's the amount of threads. Um... So yeah, that's one thing. The other thing you're gonna need to do is um, download this um, this program. I'll, 
I'll leave you a link in the description. It's called Unpark CPU. So basically, you're gonna run this .exe. You're gonna check status. This what basically this does is uh, it checks uh, if any CPU is parked. It means it's not working. It's like sleeping. And what it does, it wakes it up. So it like turns it on and activates it. And it doesn't like put all the CSGO, um, like all the power of CSGO coming out from one CPU or two, if you can get it from four, which will obviously be much more faster. So that's what we are doing right now. I'm gonna let this finish and may take a while. Depends on your computer. Right now I'm recording, so it's obviously a bit slow, but don't worry. Okay guys, so here you can see we have two parked CPUs. So what we're gonna do is, we simply, we don't have to highlight them or anything, just click on park all, give it a couple seconds, and when the status changes to ready, you're ready to go. And once it's done, we're gonna hop into CSGO again and check the FPS. I'm gonna take a picture with my phone, obviously if I record with fraps, it's gonna be 60. But you're, as I said before, it doesn't work with all computers laptops, but if it can work with a computer on a laptop, you'll see a difference, like you'll notice a difference. So that's almost done. Oh, I'm gonna, there we go. Status unparked. So we can close this right now. And we're gonna launch CSGO again. See you. Okay guys, and we're back in game. We're gonna join uh, offline game with bots and uh, we're gonna see if there has been any change to the FPS and as you can guys see by the image I just took my phone I increased 10 FPS by simply doing that how amazing how insane is that 10 FPS that's that's pretty good because I already had all my CSG almost all of it maxed but i mean i did a couple changes the max threats i put the correct number and it increased my fps by 10 now it's down again to 60 because fucking fraps you can just back to 50 40 and so on but you can, you can do it but I mean, as I told you before, and I and I will say it over and over, it doesn't. Computers, it doesn't. Don't do it at all. So I mean, yeah, do it try, but I mean, it won't 100% work in all computers. Maybe it happens like mine. You only get 10 FPS, but I mean, that's better than nothing, right? So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, please drop a like, subscribe for more, and uh, I hope to see you on the next video. Bye.